The UCI Women's World Tour Spring Classics have come to an end and it's time to look back on what's been a thrilling spring campaign, starting with the now traditional curtain raiser, Strada Bianchi. The peloton was subjected to torrential conditions on the day, but that did little to deter 2017 World Tour winner Anna van der Breggen. The Bulls Dolman's rider picked up right where she left off last season, attacking on the penultimate gravel sector before riding solo into Siena to take the victory ahead of Cassia Niviaroma and Elisa Longo Borghini, as well as the leader's jersey. I think this was a crazy start of the season for me, but um... Yeah, it's so special to win this race. It was such a hard race. I think it was one of the hardest races I ever did. And it, I mean, the team did, did great. And Bols Dolman showed off their strength in depth on the World Tour's second stop at the Ronde van der Rente, where Amy Peters outsprinted Alexis Ryan and Chloe Hosking to bag another win for the Dutch squad. Bowles dominance would be temporarily halted at the Trofeo Alfredo Binda, however, as nobody could respond to a late attack from Cassia Nivia Doma. The Polish rider blasting through the cold and rain to secure her first win in Canyon Shram colours and the World Tour lead in the process. Amazing, it's just so great. I'm pretty cold to be honest, but also extremely like stoked and happy and I just can't wait to to call my parents, to call my boyfriend and to share this like great victory with all my close friends. Next, the World Tour headed to Belgium for the start of the Cobbled Classics and a new race on the calendar, Tridagsa de Panacoxida. After catching the one remaining breakaway rider, Mika Kruger, within the final kilometre, it was home favourite Jolien Dora who prevailed in the sprint, although she initially wasn't so sure. Oh. I didn't know that I had one. Did you? I didn't, I didn't think we did catch the break. Oh, yeah, you did. I didn't know. Oh, I was just so... Yeah, yeah. Ali Cipollini's Marta Bastianelli would prevent Dora from making it back-to-back -back victories at Ghent Vevelgem a few days later. But thanks to her second-place finish, the Mitchelton Scott sprinter could console herself with the World Tour leader's jersey to wear the following weekend at the Ronde van Vlaanderen. It's a nice reward, it's also a good timing, so now I can wear it in Flanders in my home race. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it. Um, so yeah, it's quite a, it's quite a, a good prize uh, for my disappointment. And Dora wasn't the only rider proud to display her jersey at the Ronda, as Astana's Sofia Bertizzolo was also enjoying her stint as the World Tour's best young rider. I start the season done thinking at it, but uh, going on with the race, it was uh, it become a dream, and uh, I um, I wear it uh, through the races, so I uh, try to maintain it in the whole uh, uh, of the season. Home favourite Dora was among a strong group of six that made the day's first decisive move on the famous Moor van Gerardsbergen. But once again, it was van der Breggen who came to the fore as the racing intensified. After going alone over the top of the Kruisberg, the Dutch woman powered through the final 27 kilometres to hit the finishing straight with more than a minute's advantage over her rivals. And the crowds are huge at the finish line here in Oudenaarde. And they're all cheering for Anna van der Brugge. Big smile on her face. She did it. Teammate Peters won the sprint for second in an all-Dutch podium. Good enough for her to move into the World Tour lead. Yeah, that uh, feels special. It feels special on um, in Amstel. It's a, yeah, it's a nice race in my uh, home country. It's all special that you can wear this jersey. With the cobbles done and dusted, the World Tour's next stop saw the riders make the short trip east to the Netherlands as the Amstel Gold Race marked the start of Arden Week. As the race rolled through the hilly terrain of Limburg, a break of eight riders managed to build up a healthy lead and, with the peloton unable to close the gap, they hit the final ascent of the Coburg knowing they would contest the race win. Black has all the power at the minute. Black going to the line in the rainbow jersey. Bulls, Dolman's at home. Arden are dominating. 
World champion Chantal Black beating Lucinda Brandt and Amanda Spratt to the line to take another win for Bowles, along with the World Tour lead. There would be more change atop the standings three days later, however, as Flesh Fallon set the scene for van der Bregen to shine on her birthday. Coming in ahead of Ashley mullman Passio and teammate Megan Garnier, the reigning World Tour champ made it four wins in a row on the Murdehui and became the third Bowles rider to claim the purple jersey in the past three races. And she wasn't done there either, as van der Bregen concluded her spring campaign with another stellar ride at liege Baston liege After bridging across to race leader Amanda Spratt, the Queen of the Ardennes left the Australian behind on the uphill drag to the finish to take her fourth World Tour win of the season. It's a good week. It has been a good week for us, uh, with Chantal winning the Amstel and uh, I won the second uh, too. So, um, also a tough week. It's, a, it's hard to have three races behind each other and to be focused all three races. It's a lot of pressure on it. Um, so I'm really happy we could finish it off like this. The stage races are well underway, but will Anna van der Bregen continue her dominance and keep command of the purple jersey?